everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. Welcome to Lesson 17 in Silhouette Boot Camp. If you are joining us on YouTube, pop on over to the blog. The blog is www.thepinningmama.com to read the full article. Today we're learning all about the Offset feature in Silhouette Studio. Offset creates an expanded line around an object or words. Um, let's get started. First I wanted to make this design right here, a beach hair don't care um, little design for my little girl's hat because we just love the beach. And um, so first what I did is I wrote the words beach hair don't care using um, good vibes as my font. I also went to the Silhouette store and bought these waves that you see right here and then put them on my paper. Um, the biggest thing is you want to um, make sure that all of your components are on your page and to the size you want before you start offsetting them. So um, we're going to start with the words first and we're going to go over here and offset is found over here on the right and it's a star with another star offset around it and that's where you find the offset feature. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click offset and the default offset always goes to zero 0.125 and so you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller um, and then you hit apply and what that does is it creates a oh whoops I forgot to group them together it creates this big offset design that you can put your words over across the top let me just group these together so that they don't move I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm having issues. Okay. There we go. So if we move this back over and then move our letters on top, you will see that it has this whole design on top of there. I usually color them in so that you know what you're working with. And then we're going to color in oh you can't see that let's make the top one a little bit there we go so then you can see that if you were to cut this design you would cut it in two separate colors or put if you're going to put on a shirt or i'm putting it on a hat i you can put this over top and you have just a little offset design. I probably would make it smaller on the words, um, the space in between it. Um, so it was, didn't look like quite so messy. There we go. Same thing with the waves. Let's do that again. Let's go over here. We're going to go to offset. We're going to offset the waves. We could change it to just being one. And you can apply and just make it smaller. And there you see you have your two separate waves again. You can color in this one. And then color this one. Put the waves over top and you have a fun little design over top of that. Um, the big, big thing you want to do before you cut script font is you want to weld the script font together. Um, well, let's do this over here. Um, if you don't weld it together, oh, my computer is not letting me. Anyway, I would weld this together. If you don't weld it together, you will find that um, when you cut a script font and it's not welded together, you will have cuts as the letters continue. Like right here, you would have a double cut, so it would cut kind of into the A. This would cut, so everything would kind of cut into each other. I made this mistake early on and it had to recut a lot of stuff um, because it wasn't welded together. So you'll just find that if you if you were to cut this, you would have little cuts where the red continues on 
Um, but if you weld it together, which I don't know why I can't get it to weld. Um, there we go. If you weld it together, when I go to cut this, it's one continuous piece and it's not going to give little cuts each time, um, each time the letter connects to another letter. So very, very important um, when you're cutting script fonts. So that's kind of a simple way to show you how to use the offset feature. It's really fun. You can make it big, small. Uh, you can do all sorts of fun things with the offset feature. Um, and that's all I have for you. I hope that you play around with this and design something of your own, something fun and creative. And next week, we are going to learn all about the trace feature and how to use it in Silhouette Studio. Thanks, guys.